come on in. What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man Theo Butler, and welcome to a action figure reveal. Yeah, I got some mail. I got some mail. Y'all know how we get down. Y'all know I love everything in regards to Wakanda. I'm gonna say it one more time. I love everything in regards to Wakanda. So before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Uh mail call. Mail call. Mail call. Guess who we got in today? Eric Kilmar. Now, let me let y'all know right off the rip. This is my third, actually my fourth version of Eric Kilmar because I actually have him in the tactical uniform. Shout out to Valiverse because I got some action, some Eric Killmongers in the tactical gear, but didn't come with the tactical gear. So I'm going to hit up Valiverse and get some tactical gear for my Eric Killmongers and everything like that because I am I have an army bill. I do. But that ain't what this is about. This is about this particular Eric Killmonger, and this is the actual third version of this Eric Killmonger. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this pu puppy open and we're going to see what the differences are. All right, y'all ready? Exact on that. Shout out to my wife. Gift from her. Kids, if you got, I would recommend, you can use your keys or if you got sharp fingernails, you can use fingernails. I just wouldn't, you know, be careful with the exact no knife because it's exact. <laughs> I said, wait, where's my banners? I'm not doing this right. Before I open up this box, let's take a look. We got the artwork on the side, Eric Kilmonger. See it? Eric Kilmonger on the side. And then we have some impressive artwork on the back. Yes, we do. It says, Eric Kilmonger, a warrior of physical and mental strength. Eric Killmonger slashes into battle with unrivaled intensity. That's what it says. Okay. All right. Got the pleasantries out of the way. Okay. Let's go ahead and make it do what it do. It's real easy to slide these puppets on. There we go. Once again, that nice little backdrop. Listen, don't do what I was doing. You start collecting these action figures, do not throw these away. <laughs> these are excellent photo op pieces. Don't throw them away. I don't know what I was thinking. And you, hey, if you a YouTuber and you collect action figures, tell people don't throw these away. <laughs> no, it ain't common sense. It's not. It's not. It's not common sense. Uh, no. So don't throw these away. You like taking pictures and everything. They actually serve a great purpose. Oh, man. First of all, before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at these accessories. You see we got the, you know, what Eric like to use in battle. Got the spear. Got the, I'm going to call this a, a hatchet, whatever y'all want to call it. Got the head here. We're going to get more to that later on. We got two additional hands. Same ones, uh, well, the same ones that T'Challa came with. But we're going to take a look at this. Oh man, let's take a look at this head scope. First of all, that's an impressive head scope. Um, you're like, Theo, what do you mean? Same head scope as before. No, 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 no. That's an impressive head scope. And what I mean when I say that is, is that this head scope is slightly different than the previous head scope that Eric Killmonger had. I would love to show y'all that. I'll probably show y'all that later on in another video. Um, Cause I actually use that head scope on the character that I created um, X. So yeah, we got that. If we take a look here, this is an impressive figure. It is. Take a look at that. Great paint job. They got the beard on them and everything like that. Little slight beard that Michael B. Jordan sported in the movie. I like the locks. How they have it. Um, for those of y'all that don't know how I wear my locks, how Michael B. Jordan had his in the movie. Uh, that basically served as the inspiration for how, how I have my hairstyle. Um, 
No, I did not look at the movie and say I'm going to grow grow, grow locks. I looked at the movie and said if I had locks, that's how I would want them to look. That's what I seen. <laughs> Two years later, anyway. So yeah, this is a this is an impressive figure. But let's let's leave Eric right here. Let's pop off his head scope. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Is it worth the money? Well, it's worth the money if you like Black Panther as much as some people like Spider-Man, Hulk, Iron Man. Because those are all the action figures that get repurposed over and over again. Him a little something. Him was stubborn. So... First of all, this is a much different head skull. I think y'all can see it right there. We're going to try and stand him up right. We're going to sit him right there. We got some previous incarnations of Eric Killmonger. So I'm going to pop out the first one because there's actually this ain't the first one. I know it ain't. This is the first version of Eric Killmonger. And you can already see the differences. You can, that's the first one. They different. They definitely different. And here's the sad part. Different enough to make me sit up here and say, okay, I guess I'm going to have to do something because that's, that's definitely distinctively different. That is definitely distinctively, definitely distinctively different. Like, that's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. Now, if we can look, we see that the bones, the, the panther teeth are much more pronounced in this one. We see that the panther teeth are pronounced here. But look at the, watch this. Let me go down here real quick. Let me see if I got some more. Look at the head skull. This is the second action figure. Look at that. The painting on this head skull is a lot more detail which is crazy because this is the second action figure now watch this this is the first one i'm sorry this is the second action figure this is the second action figure. so this is the second action figure the second variation the second variation i keep saying the second variation nope that's the this is the first variation i'm getting confused i i'm sorry that got all three of them so this is the first one so they definitely stepped up their head sculpt game, paint job, in regards to Eric Killmonger. But when you look at this one right here, this one is just so much more detailed. Like, is it a wise investment? It's, it's a different it's a diff, it's definitely a different paint job like for all three it's a different paint job like it's crazy it really is crazy so here's where the differences are and I'm just gonna point them out to you with this one and this is the first one that they released this one if you can see got the leopard spots on it you can see the leopard spots on it go with the jaguar that's what they did with this one the leopard print was definitely more detailed, highlighted per se. With this one, the second version, they dialed back on the leopard detail and gave us more gold accents. On this one, I'm guessing they went back to the movie and they looked at the movie. They dialed back on the gold accents. Now, as you can see here, there is a gold belt connecting right here. 
that we don't have in previous in any in any of the previous versions. I'm knocking heads off. I gotta be careful. I can't be losing stuff. Even as you can see here, the belt, let me move these hands. The belt doesn't connect here, but the belt connects here. Unlike T'Challa, like it's crazy what they did. So with this being the, this is the first action figure and you can see where we have gold accents on the, on the feet. On the second variation, just on the toes, just on the toes, but no gold accent. Here, gold accent, gold toes. And I don't know if it was clear enough on this one. This one also has gold on the toes as well. So, I'm keeping all three of mine. Uh, I might do some head swapping and everything because the costumes are definitely different enough to have three different people. In, in the Golden Jaguar uniform, Earth 421. I do what I want to do, right? right. So, that's it. Eric Killmonger. Uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to do it. Uh, I I like to buy black action figures. I do. Um, Got to get me a uh, King Grayskull, Masters of the Universe. I got plans for him. I ain't saying. Shout out to Articulated Ninja. You've been giving me some great ideas. And, and y'all be like, Theo, why you be dropping name dropping? Because I believe sharing is caring. And I don't believe in just keeping information to myself, especially information that can help another person grow. Y'all go articulated ninja, tell him Theo sent you and everything like that. The dude is real good about breaking down. Yes, it's a brother. It's a brother. He's real good about breaking down Hasbro G.I. Joes. He specializes in Valiverse. He specializes in G.I. Joe and everything like that. He'll tell you how to get more bang for your buck, especially when we talk about doing coming up with vehicles for these um, 112 scale action figures. That's my time. Um, hit me up in the comment section. Uh, I can't wait to get blue ball. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Listen, that's my time. I'm finna go action figure reveal, unboxing. Yeah, Black Panther, Eric Killmonger. We here for it. Yes, yes, yes. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. What you say? I did. I did. I had to order the. I ordered the Black Panther action figures from the movie. I did pre-order. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. So, I'm bending arms and stuff. Also, if you have action figures and the arms don't bend, don't fight with the arms. Get you a hair dryer and make it do what it do. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Peace.